Today at the Dallas Zoo, the once stolen emperor tamarind monkeys are back in their enclosure. The once escaped clouded leopard Nova is comfortably asleep on her perch. And visitors are flooding the zoo on an 85 degree day as if nothing ever happened. But of course, a lot has happened. I have to tell you, we were all shocked um, and angry at the recent series of events. And at City Hall on Tuesday, zoo officials asked to explain what they're doing to make sure the last eventful month doesn't happen again. You've given me a lot of confidence today um, that, that things are going to be fine. That praise after the January 13th escape of the clouded leopard, the January 30th theft of the tamarind monkeys, and vandalism and attempted theft at other enclosures. Because as a response, there is new perimeter fencing here, an expanded security camera system, increased security lighting, and a third party consultant is studying if the zoo needs even more security measures. But as the zoo CEO told us, without making this place look like a maximum security prison. It's gotta be pleasing and aesthetically um, uh, inviting. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, it has to do its job with safety and security, because if we don't have safety and security, no one's going to want to come. Meanwhile, the suspect in the theft of the tamarind monkeys and the vandalism that allowed the leopard to escape is still in the Dallas County Jail, reportedly confessing to those crimes. But the death of a vulture from a puncture wound is still a mystery and under investigation by Dallas police. But these things kind of shake your confidence a little bit in humanity. I mean, do the right thing and the wrong thing. And for me, um, we have to make sure that we prepare for all different scenarios. The scenario today, crowds have come flooding back, well aware there are more cameras watching and potentially even more to come. At the Dallas Zoo, I'm Kevin Reese.